So over the last two times we've met, we've talked through um, eating healthier, what that looks like for you, how we would define that. And we've talked through setting a couple goals uh, as far as nutrition goes and what it would look like to incorporate uh, more protein into your diet, mostly at breakfast time, and then also um, calcium intake throughout the day to maintain um, good bone health. So we talked through some um, dairy alternatives um, that aren't milk, that aren't cheese and yogurt. We talked through some soy foods and um, some plant um, alternatives for calcium. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. Um, and then we also talked about eating at least one whole meal a day to get enough protein and calories. So of those three goals, how, how have they been going? What's that? So I'm, like? already, I'm eating two whole meals a day because thanks to your advice, I am now getting fresh and lean performance meals delivered. You can okay. turn the camera to show. Okay. So this is breakfast and it's usually oatmeal um, and an egg that looks as disgusting as this one does. Um, and then this is usually like a late afternoon meal and there's a variety okay. of them. Okay. And they're low in sodium and high in protein. Great. And I'm okay. taking my one a day vitamins mm -hmm. and my calcium supplements and I tried oat milk. Okay. And what did you think about the oat milk? Like, I don't know how anyone can drink that in real life, but okay. <laughs> like, so was but it's it... better than almond or anything else. Okay. Yeah. Is it the flavor or the texture? Just, what about it is? Ugh. Okay. So I think it's mentally like, how can you get milk out of oatmeal? But okay. it's good. I mean, okay. I use it for my, you know, scrambled eggs and stuff, so it's good. Okay. When I make them myself. Yeah. But I don't have to because I have this delectable sunny side egg frittata with sun-dried tomato and baby potato. Okay. Yeah, so those convenience meals um, seem to be helpful in getting a full meal at least once right. a day. So that's that's a really good step in the right direction. Um, have there been, aside from the, the oat milk, have there been any other um, barriers or difficulties in uh, making these changes? No. I order the meals when I run out, and they ship them, and I put them in the freezer, and I'm taking my vitamins, which I was not really doing regularly, and take using the oat milk. Okay. Um, okay, yeah, thank you for sharing um, those thoughts. Uh, I, one other thing we had talked through is taking the vitamins um, at a different time than drinking coffee. I haven't had any coffee since we talked. Okay. Have you noticed any difference in your day or, or in um, how you're feeling physically with making these changes? No. Oh, as far as the special meals? As far as either the meals or yeah. the no, vitamins? Yeah, no, I have more energy for sure. Okay. Yeah, yes. And the coffee, not so much, but the meals and having regularly scheduled meals has been great. Okay. And you mentioned that you, you do a lot of traveling. Um, has that also, how has that affected I'm just, eating, you know, I use I, drink, I eat protein bars, and I usually try to have a, find a place where I can have an egg sandwich for breakfast, and okay. you know, try I have when I go to NBC at, in New York or at the Comcast Center, they have a great clean commissary, and then I have a protein bar for dinner. Okay. And my vitamins. Yeah. Well, it sounds like some um, some of that has been able to be consistent despite traveling and, yes. and doing things. Because now I'm being mindful about it. Okay. Thanks to you, Graham. Yeah. Well, yeah, thank you for um, being able to take time to sit down. And um, if there are more questions or anything that would arise in the future, you know, I'm happy to um, talk through any of this more, um, set different goals if we need to modify things. So um, I want that to be known. Okay. But thank Great. you. Thank you. Yeah.